What's going on, people? We are back. And our mission currently is come fly with me. Uh, I think Manny Vargas asked me to get rid of the ghouls at the Repcon facility. Yeah, yeah, Repcon facility. The little the place where I stole all those little souvenir rockets from. So, we're going to head over there, but first, I want to do this in the daytime, because I don't like doing any traveling at night. It's just too dangerous, still too early of a character to be traveling at nighttime, and I'm a, I'm a scary little bitch, so, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get this started. Damn it, I thought he would be able to jump over that. Ah, hold on, Rocketeers, looking for a tour. Blast up Highway 95 to Repcon HQ in lovely Henderson. Look at the robot, he's so I don't, I don't trust any robot that's going to smile at me. That's creepy. And the kids are like, yeah, let's go to Repcon! I don't, I don't really mind the regular ghouls, but there are the radiated ghouls, and they are fucking crazy. It is so hard to kill these damn radiated ghouls. They have way more health than the regular ones, and on top of that, if you get near them, your radiation level goes up, so it's no fun fighting them at all. And even when they're dead, you still get radiation from their dead bodies, so if you're going to loot from the radiated ghouls, do it quickly. Cause it really does suck. The morning so quickly, See, I think this was a grenade box. It was past when they ah, frag the grenades. Street. And I'm glad the frag grenades don't take up as much weight as Fallout 3. I think they only take up like point ten, point thirty, or something like that. I can't, I can't get the ammo. That sucks. There were 40 feet between them when they stopped. Oh, actually they take up point fifty. So pr pretty much and half the usual the weight from the previous fallout. Why did that lawn gnome have a cigarette in his mouth? I hate lawn gnomes. And the ranger's aim was deadly with gnomes. Piece of shit. They creep me out. So just to let you know, that's one thing you want to know about me. I hate lawn gnomes. So that must be the Repcon facility. Well, I mean, the rocket statue is a, a pretty big giveaway, so... Uh, we got some enemies already. Is it ghouls? Yes, it is. A feral ghoul, and he's looking for me. Oh, crap, there's more. It's a damn shame how they can see you from that far away. Let's try that gun. Oh, that gun is crazy. It's like a futuristic magnum. Ow! Damn it, that hurt. Damn it, you're gonna get enough of hitting me like that. Oh, did you see his eyeball pop out? That is disgusting. I love the way this gun charges up when you reload it. The Repcon test site. Looks crazy. Alright, we're finally here at the Repcon facility. in box who I am doesn't matter smooth skin stop 
wasting time and get up here. But voice box, I want to know where you come from. Where are you located? Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. I'll do whatever you ask, magic voice box. How do I find you again? Big room, metal staircase, east side of the building. Is that too many syllables for you? No, I'm just so interested in your you voice box. Whoa. A nightkin. And he has a stealth boy. Crap. What the fuck? I hate being surprised like this. Come on, come on, hurry up. Well, let's see what he has. A rubber club. I don't need that. There's another one of those bright brotherhood robes. Whoa! You don't be opening doors like that in front of me. You better knock first. This ain't your place. This ain't mine. Oh crap. What do we have here? Turn on some light here. They go another Brotherhood role. What exactly is this Brotherhood about? You know, I, uh, oh. my charisma on a Vitomatic Vigor Tester one. That's that quick shot. The machine burst That's that old flight. shit shot. Here are our top stories. I can't really be hidden when I have my flashlight on. Oh, I level up. Welcome to level four. Let's see, what can I upgrade this time? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna raise my speech up this time. And I will add the rest to. Uh, let's put it on science. And now I get a free perk. Let's see. Cannibal. Nah. Comprehension, nah. Retention, nah. Let's just put it on a uh, intense training again. So I will add it to. Uh, let's see. Let's add it to strength. That way I can stop crying about my damn weight. Uh oh. I didn't even know this door was locked. Whoa, whoa. I see you trying to trap me. Ah. I almost fell for that one. Oh, crap. I guess I do have to go through that door. This sucks. I almost fell through the freaking hole. I guess they're really looking for me. Crap, 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 crap. Motherfucker. They really need to chill out with those sneak attacks. Come on, come on. There you go. You like that? You, you like that? Come on, a little closer. A little closer, there you go. How's this, sweetie? Oh, you got a little red on your face there. Ow! A baseball glove and a carton of cigarettes. What the hell were you doing, sir? So let's see. I guess we got to get up there. Let's put that gun away. Walk a little faster. And another tip, yes, you walk faster with uh, less armor on 
or less weight to your armor. Seems as though we have another dead ghoul with a brotherhood outfit on. It's getting a little weirder. Voice box, is that you? All right, Smootskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Yay, I get to figure out who voice box is. Love me. Is that the chipmunk from Alvin the Chipmunks? Who was his name? Uh Theodore or Simon? I don't know. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. You're not exactly Leonardo DiCaprio yourself. And wait a minute, you're not even a ghoul. Why are you talking like that? Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth Skin? Your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. If you care about Jason so much, then why would I be wasting his time? Why would you tell me to go waste his time? You are incompetent. You're a fucking human. Everybody else is ghouls. I don't even know what to call this. I'm, I'm utterly confused. God damn, look at you. You are glowing. You must be happy today, huh? Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have what? you come to help us complete the great journey? Great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. It's always the demons, huh? Tell me more about these these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once oh, again, no. the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. But now I have come. God is here to save the day. You say one of demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should be stuck outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Well, I'm here, so what choice do I have? Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. You are obviously crazy. Oh, so let's see. This quest gets longer. Get rid of the night kin in the basement. I believe those were the purple things that we saw at the Repcon facility. The super mutants, but are more purplish. Somewhere, somehow, someone's gonna get kissed. 